Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Brennan Martin here, and this is part number 21 of WWE SmackDown Raw 2008 for the Xbox 360. And I'm still playing as the Destroyer Supernatural for Raw Season Mode. And I'm on SmackDown at the moment, and we are now in the month of November, so here we go. And this is my hometown for Friday Night SmackDown. Got Ringster vs. JBL. Got Gregory Helms vs. MVP, Matt Hardy vs. Chumbo Guerrero, Kane vs. Mark Henry, me vs. William Riggle, and Finley. So here we go. Ramos vs. JBL, MVP defeating Gregory Helms, Matt Hardy defeating Chavo Guerrero, Mark Henry defeating Kane. So here we go. Me vs. William Riggle and Finley. Here we go, so let's get it! Cyber Sunday is this weekend, and SmackDown's champion will be there. Michael Cole and JBL on ringside, and tonight, the champ sends a message to the allies of the number one contender. I'll give him credit for asking for this handicap match, but he still hasn't gotten the title belt back. And you can only imagine the frustration building in the champion. Fine, he's angry. I get it. The question is, what's he going to do about it? These two have backed up the number one contender for the past several weeks. Tonight, they face the champion in a handicap match. And if the champ gets the worst end of it, he's got no one to blame but himself. He asked for it. The following is a two-on-one handicap match in a scheduled four-month ball. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 473 pounds, the team of Finley and William Regal. These two have backed up the number one contender for the past several weeks. Tonight, they face the champion in a handicap match. And if the champ gets the worst end of it, he's got no one to blame but himself. He asked for it. Wait a minute. Wait a second. It's only a two-on-one handicap match, not three-on-one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Eminem. Now that I have everybody's attention, I'd just like to remind you that I weigh in tonight at 246 pounds. I hail from Green Bay, Wisconsin, Mr. And would 
you look at who's coming to ringside, the number one contender, who is illegally in possession of the championship title. Yeah, well, after this Sunday, he might be its rightful owner, especially if his boys do a number on the champ tonight. And this is the big comes to the ring by Ashley from Portland, Oregon, weighing two, and weighing two, 179 pounds. He is the World Heavyweight Champion and Portland's own The Destroyer Supernatural! Yep, I am now in my hometown of Portland, Oregon. I'm Michael Cole, this is J.B. Allen, we welcome you to Portland, Oregon. It's been a long time since we've come to Portland, and it's great to be back. The Rose City's going to get its face washed in that night for one can't wait. And neither can these fans. We better get started, or we might have a riot on our hands. What a counter that was! Nice. First came to the WWE is the winner of the Diva Search Contest, and it's not hard to see why. But this has to be blind, deaf, and stupid not to. That is one beautiful creature right there. How about that? That's what you get for hitting a girl like that. That's what you get for hitting Ashley like that. Instead of that. I mean, he really, really, yeah. Your head in the match. Come on, you're looking at a superstar who can feed off a crowd and use that energy to win the match. <laughs> Superstars give everything they've got no. when they're in a match like this. Oh. A lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes, too. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. And for a lot of guys, their WWE career is their life. That's why you see so much passion for what they do in the ring. And that's something you won't see anywhere else. With all due respect to every athlete and entertainer out Tenor there, F. no one gives as much of themselves to their fans as the nope. WWE superstars. He anticipated that move perfectly. You know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much. That's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. No superstar in the locker room can afford to ignore the WWE fans. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of a job. Two. Oh. Oh. Three. <clears throat> Even if you wind up winning a match oh. like this, you're going to be feeling oh. it for the next week. Yes, but that's... He can tell all he wants, oh. but once he's lost the match, no, he's going to spend his time going after his opponent. I think you're wrong about that. I think this is going to make his victory tonight that much sweeter. Man, what a match. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try to stuff it home. Absolutely not. These are trained WWE superstars. And even they wind up seriously in That's for sure. Even me, a former WWE champion, has Got had it. his share of injuries over the years. And you just can't put anything over. Yep. Yep, we got the win over, um, Finley and Ron Regal. No, not again. Nope. you call a moron. So much for history repeating itself. Wow, that 
Oklahoma got some industrial size. Don't say it, JBL. What? What's wrong with saying? Damn, that girl can put on a show. Never mind. <laughs> what the freak? <laughs> <laughs> what the freak, Cole? Michelle, your vote's counted. You might be interested to know that since your championship match takes place at Cyber Sunday, I've arranged for a second opponent for you, and you've been voting for him all month, whether you know it or not. Now stop. <laughs> Bell lines drunk for Cyber Sunday. Supernatural may have regained possession of his title belt, but it may be a short-lived reunion, as the champion will be up for grabs at Cyber Sunday. Queen McCool seems confident of her charge, Mr. Kennedy's chances at the pay-per-view. Pay-per-view. Supernatural has made his battlefield, and now he must fight upon it, says McCool. It is there where he will find King Kennedy to be a superior opponent in every way, and it is there where he will lose his World Heavyweight Championship. SmackDown GM Teddy Long seems willing to let all of this transpire. I don't know what to tell you, dog. I'm not a fan of McCool and Kennedy's methods, but they're certainly got the chance of tension. It should be one heck of a match at Cyber Sunday, playa. Oh, we got Matt, Mark Henry versus MVP, King Booker versus Will Riggle, Chubb versus Kane, Correa versus Kane, Gregory Helms versus Matt Hardy, and me versus Mr. Kennedy with Rey Mysterio for the World Heavyweight Championship and the handicap match. That's all right. MVP defeating Mark Henry, King Booker defeating Will and Riggle, Chubb Guerrero defeating Kane. Wow. Well, Greg your helmets defeat Matt Hardy. So here we go. Me and Mr. Kennedy. Me versus Mr. Kennedy and Ray Mysterio for the Makaka Handicap Match for the World Heavyweight Championship. So here we go. So oh, sorry about that, guys. Welcome to Cyber Sunday. The challenger has made the champ's life a living hell all month. But he may have just fired up the champ even more. Or he might have made him so mad he's not thinking straight. We'll find out when the rightful owner of the championship is decided tonight. They call themselves the only true royalty on SmackDown, and tonight is their chance to put their money where their mouth is. Not to mention the gold around his waist, which, by the way, is where it's been for the last few weeks. The falling handicap match is scheduled for work ball and for the World Heavyweight Championship. Making his way to the ring, making the cover of the ring by Michelle McCool from Green Bay, Wisconsin. The challenger, weighing 243 pounds. Mr. Kennedy! Now that I have everybody's attention, I would just like to remind you that I weigh in tonight at 246 pounds. I hail from Green Bay, Wisconsin, Mr. Kennedy! Step on your cloud, so close to my thigh. Travel 
I don't know how they managed to make this a two-on-one match, but he'll be seconding the number one contender here tonight. The number one contender is a very resourceful individual, Michael. That's what makes him so incredibly dangerous. Six from San Diego, California, weighing in the water 70 pounds, Ray Estadio. Completely debilitated. 
And considering the resiliency of these superstars, that's not going to be easy. That's for sure. No one in this match is going down without a fight. And I wouldn't expect any less from them, King. Like them or not, you've got to respect the tenacity of each and every WWE superstar. Uh. I don't think these super we could be looking at a pinball here, One, folks. Two, three. You got it. You gotta respect the commitment. Still retaining my title tonight. I can't believe you've been given a second opponent on such short notice. But it doesn't matter. I know you'll come through, just like you always do. And I'll be right there with you to see it. You turn a king, a queen, into a pair of jokers as a representative player. Good going, Tilo. Michelle, I'm about to. Congratulations, champ. I've got to admit, it took me a little while, but now I finally see what all the fuss is about. I've sent you a little something to remember me by. Give me a call sometime, if you want to see more. Well, <laughs> Champ kicks King's can. With everything but the kitchen sink thrown at him, Champion Supernatural prevails and shows why he's the dominant force on SmackDown. Not even an additional opponent added to the 11th hour by the devious Queen McCool could end Supernatural's reign as World of the Great Champion. Mr. King was turned back into spectacular fashion at Cyber Sunday. All the mind games and backstage dealings don't matter once the bell rings, says Supernatural. That's when raw ability and pure heart win the day, and that's why I still hold the World Heavyweight Championship. Who's the real king? I think we all know the answer to that. All of it. We're in Little Rock, I'm stuff for my near bro. <laughs> Survivor Series surprise on horizon. The Survivor Series is one of the WWE's largest and most important annual pay-per-view events. This year, it may be a little bit more interesting than usual. Mr. McMahon, chairman of the board for WWE, tells us he has a major announcement regarding Survivor Series, which is only a few weeks away, as the event features all the company's brands. The possibilities are endless. Mr. McMahon wouldn't indulge us any further. However, now is the, the not the time to reveal my announcement, says McMahon, but submits to say... It will shake this company, my company, to its very foundation. Well, change that up a bit. That's awesome. Look, I want.
want to see the best. Survivor Series is right around the corner, champ. And I need to start putting together our Survivor Series team. I want to see how one superstar in particular stacks up against a champ. So I made a match between you this week. Right, which, who is it, though, to be exact? Virginia Beach, Virginia first Friday Night Smackdown. Ray Rams vs. Mark Henry. Ray Rams vs. Will Riddle. Ashley vs. Tori Wilson. Me vs. MVP. Alright. And then Tigger vs. King Baka. Ray Rams vs. Mark Henry. Ray Rams vs. Will Riddle. Tori Wilson vs. Ashley. So we go with me and MVP are going to go at it for the first time. So here we go. Face of the week four, but oh no. Welcome to SmackDown, where Survivor Series is less than three weeks away. This is Michael Cole here with John Bradshaw, Layfield at ringside, and the champion is in action tonight. And this might be a non title match, but the champ better wear his working boots. You can say that again. His opponent is in consideration for SmackDown Survivor Series team. And there's no better way to evaluate a superstar than to put him in there against the champ. Well. legitimately one of SmackDown's toughest superstars, and what an asset he would be to SmackDown's Survivor Series team. SmackDown's team has got to represent the brand at Survivor Series and prove that we're the best in the business, and this guy is one of the best in the business, no question. The following contest is scheduled for one ball, making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida. Weighing 248 pounds, Montel Von Tavis Porter, and V. might be the very best in the business. His preparation for Survivor Series begins here tonight. And he better be ready, because Raw is going to be at Survivor Series 2, and everyone's counting on him to blow them out of the water. Shit! 
A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? He dodged that bullet. Yeah, nope. Max, flex. Reversing into a back spin. Man, I don't want this Lex. back spin. I'm with you, partner. But it's got to end sooner or later. <laughs> well, whichever way it goes, no one can say that these superstars didn't give it everything they got. I think these superstars are going to keep it up until they've got Roll literally break. nothing ah, break. to give. And that's the attitude you have to take to win. You know that your opponent isn't going to hold anything back, and you can't afford to either. I'd love to know where you're coming up with this stuff. Here it is. Here. Up ahead of Steve and he's nice. To let his opponent have it. And if his opponent is smart, he'll get the Boom. hell out of there. We've heard MVP talk to talk. I'm just waiting for him to walk the walk. Hey, hey, have some respect. That's SmackDown's most valuable player we're talking about. Well, he certainly played Raw and SmackDown against each other in a bidding war for his contract, and I'm afraid we got the worst end of the deal. Man, this one's turned into a fight. You know, the Central game is playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. Tough and spear he's from this deep. match his way all along. And now he's most valuable player anymore until he gets speared. Here you go. <laughs> Boom. These nice. superstars get everything they got when they're in a match like this, but a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes, too. Yeah, no right. question. He wasted no time going for One, that pen. Two. Got him. I don't think anyone in this... promised the big news regarding Survivor Series and he delivered the main event for the event will be truly historic in a triple threat match the champions of all three brands Raw, SmackDown, and ECW will square off against one of another. All three titles will be on the line and the winner will receive the loser's championship. I said my announcement would be huge and I'm the man of my word, says Mr. McMahon. I also a man who likes to win, and that's why I have thrown my support behind WWE Champion Triple H. Alright, so... Come on, I want to win that round. Hey champ, I bet you're not too happy that the chairman of World Boxing Entertainment is backing your opponent at Survivor Series. Just wanted to let you know that not every member of the big man family feels that way. Let's get started. We got to get you warmed up for your big match at Survivor Series, player. I'm throwing you right into the fire this week. You're in a non-title match against WWE Champion Triple H. Represent SmackDown and take advantage of this chance to beat the competition. 
Paula Tilo. ECW has faith in champion. Extreme Championship Wrestling may be the new brand on the blog, but those with, within have full faith in their champion's chances at Survivor Series. ECW Champion Bobby Lashley def definitely has all the tools it takes to succeed. He's physically imposing deceptively fast and can absorb large amounts of punishment. He will need all of those attributes to win Survivor Series Triple Threat main event, pitting him against the champions of both Raw and SmackDown. I have watched Lashley closely throughout his career, and he's at the top of his game, says ECW's Tommy Dreamer. He is the most dominant force in sports entertainment, and those other two so-called champions don't have a prayer against him. Oh, okay, so... Let's see what chance to help me get down. Hey. Listen, I'm gonna inherit this company from my old man someday, right? So why should I wait for him to decide to retire? If it be my father's favorite at Survivor Series, then maybe the great Vince McMahon will lose some of his appetite for the business. Listen. I'll find up someone who might be able to help you. He'll be giving you a call. Alright. So. No bad. Okay. New Orleans, Louisiana. K vs. JBL. Shovel Girl vs. Nicky James. Shovel Girl vs. MVP. Matt Irvin's Riddle. Little Riddle. Me vs. Triple H again. A game to beat JBL. Beat the James defeat Michelle Cool. Chuck Bird defeat MVP. Will Riddle defeat Matt Hardy. So here we go. Me and Triple H are going to go at it once again. But this time it's Champion vs. Champion match. So here we go. Survivor Series is just over one week away. Michael Cole here with JBL and Ringside in what a main event we have for you tonight. SmackDown vs. Raw and a champion versus champion match. And I'm glad the titles aren't on the line because I'm not sure our champ has what it takes. Well, there's some team spirit for you. I think the champ's going to do just fine. Man, I hope so. This could get embarrassing in a hurry if he doesn't. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Brennan Martin here, and this is part number 21 of WWE SmackDown Raw 2008 for the Xbox 360. And I'm still playing as the Destroyer Supernatural for Raw Season Mode. And I'm on SmackDown at the moment, and we are now in the month of November, so here we go. And this is my hometown for Friday Night SmackDown. Got Ringster vs. JBL. Got Gregory Helms versus MVP, Matt Hardy versus Chubb Guerrero, Kane versus Mark Henry, me versus William Riegel, and Finley. So here we go. Ramos defeating JBL, MVP defeating Gregory Helms, Matt Hardy defeating Chubb Guerrero, Mark Henry defeating Kane. So here we go. Me versus William Riegel and Finley. Here we go, so let's get it. Cyber Sunday is this weekend, and SmackDown's champion will be there. Michael Cole and JBL at ringside, and tonight, the champ sends a message to the allies of the number one contender. I'll give him credit for asking for this handicap match, but he still hasn't gotten the title belt back. And you can only imagine the frustration building in the champion. Fine, he's angry. I get it. 
The question is, what's he going to do about it? These two have backed up the number one contender for the past several weeks. Tonight, they face the champion in a handicap match. And if the champ gets the worst end of it, he's got no one to blame but himself. He asked for it. The following is a two-on-one handicap match in schedule for one ball. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 473 pounds, the team of Finley and William Regal. These two have backed up the number one contender for the past several weeks. Tonight, they face the champion in a handicap match. He dodged that bullet. It's so great seeing these superstars in competition here tonight. I had a feeling they're going to wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, anytime you throw these kind of combustible elements into a map, the attraction is here. The crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. Hey, try to straighten hey, yourself you a little bit, yeah. okay? You're supposed to be calling this down the middle. I think these superstars are going to keep it up until they've got literally nothing late. left to I give. Know. And after the attitude, you have to take the win. You know that your opponent isn't going to say anything. You know what I mean? can't afford to win. I'd love to know where you're coming up with this stuff, but it sure ain't from personal experience. I don't think anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. Of course not. That's the kind of attitude that gives you see even weaker than anything. And that's something I don't think people realize. The mental conditioning of the WWE superstars is just as impressive as the physical conditioning. No superstar in the locker room can afford to ignore the WWE fans. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of a job. He made his opponent look like a... This superstar is all fired up, and so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, one mistake, and we're going to see that fire put out pronto. Time for the jackhammer, Triple H. I've been looking forward to this match all night. Yeah. So long. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated no. He wasted no time going for it, man. Man, what a man. I don't think he was too happy with the reception he got here on SmackDown. If he was thinking he was going to get anything else, he's delusional. I'm sure he's not used to that sort of treatment on Raw. Yeah, well, I got news for him. This isn't Raw, and I could be happier about that.
and I think tonight only fueled his desire to emerge victorious in Survivor Series. I just hope our champion feels the same way. SmackDown's got to come out on top at Survivor Series. We've got to. Yeah, we're going to have to go, JBL, because I'm going to win over these two fools from Raw and ECW. Congratulations on your victory, champ. But you can't count on getting that lucky again at Survivor Series. With my ECW champion involved in the match, are you sure you haven't bitten off more than you can chew? Triple H for the main event of Survivor Series, which pits the champions of all three brands, either one another. It seems that some, some Shane McMahon may want to enlist one of the other participants in the Triple Threat match in a bid to get the best of his father. There is no problem between Shane and I. Says. No, excuse me, says McMahon. Mr. McMahon, excuse me. We are as close as we've ever been, and I really don't appreciate any rumors to the contrary. My dad's a great guy. Everyone knows that, says Shane. He wants his kids to have it better than he did. Coincidentally, I want the same thing. Jackson, this is to be the final SmackDown before Survivor Series, Ashley vs. Tori Wilson, Vitex vs. JBL, Chalk and Barrera vs. MVP, Me vs. Finley, and then Undertaker vs. Tori Wilson defeating Ashley, Patrice defeating JBL, MVP defeating Chalk and Barrera, so here we go, me and Finley are going to go at it again, so here we go. This is the final Smack Friday Night Smackdown before Survivor Series. Survivor Series is just two days away. Michael Cole and JBL on ringside, and can you imagine the pressure our champion must be under? Part of being the champ is dealing with the pressure, Michael, but I don't envy him one bit. A loss here tonight would rob him of momentum heading into Survivor Series. But if he puts too much into tonight's match, he might not have enough left in the tank Sunday. Talk about your rock and hard place. How'd you like that to face this superstar just before defending your brand's honor and championship at Survivor Series? Most guys in the locker room might take it easy on the champ in this situation, just out of brand loyalty. But this guy's an A1 nutcase. Who knows what he'll do? Of 
following contest is scheduled for one part. Making this way they ran from Belfast on the run. Weighing in 233 pounds. Good play. Dodge that bullet. Talk about superstars who don't have an ounce of whip between them. You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single uh, match. Hey, you got to be there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. You know that if you actually ever step between those ropes. I don't have to. He's got this crowd solidly behind him. And now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd. That's a huge distraction in my opinion. These superstars are at the top of the game, but only one of them is going to have his hand raised at the end of this one. And he's going for the pin! This one, could be it! Two. Nope. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. You know, if you let me train you, you could be cruiserweight champ inside of a year. Oh no, I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Are you surprised? They're just training people to go to war. I train them to WXE superstars. Well, thanks but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. Oh, nice. Even if you wind up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain that's is that much worse. Hey, it's pretty insightful for a guy who's never wrestled a match in his life. Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't Not get their the hands raised. You can up. literally feel the disappointment radiating off them. It's not a pretty sight. We're hearing the First Amendment in action here. All the freedom of expression. This can be free right here. These superstars have... Smackdown's got no chance. 
chance at Survivor Series. Hold on, we still don't know the extent of the injury. It might not be as bad as it looks. Listen, he can't afford to suffer any injury. This is what is the Survivor Series. Well, we've seen him battle back against the odds before. I hope he can do it again this Sunday. I hope so too, but let's face it, it doesn't look good. Survivor Series, and our champ's got his work cut out for him tonight. A triple threat match between all three of WWE's champions. The titles are all on the line. I hope our champion knows what he's getting into tonight. It's the biggest main event in WWE history, and it's live on pay-per-view. Yep. Yes, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Brennan Martin here, and this is part number 21 of WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 for the Xbox 360. And I'm still playing as the Destroyer Supernatural for Raw Season Mode. 
and I'm on SmackDown at the moment, and we are now in the month of November, so here we go. And this is my hometown for Friday Night SmackDown. Got Ringster vs. JBL, got Gregory Helms vs. MVP, and Art vs. Chum Guerrero, Kane vs. Mark Henry, me vs. William Riggle, and Finley. So here we go. Ringster being a JBL. MVP defeating Greg Hounds. Now we're defeating Chava Guerrero. <coughs> Mark Henry defeating King. So here we go. Me versus William Regal and Finley. So here we go. So let's get it. Cyber Sunday is this weekend, and SmackDown's champion will be there. Michael Cole and JBL at ringside, and tonight, the champ sends a message to the allies of the number one contender. I'll give him credit for asking for this handicap match, but he still hasn't gotten the title belt back. And you can only imagine the frustration building in the champion. Fine, he's angry. I get it. The question is, what's he going to do about it? These two have backed up the number one contender for the past several weeks. Tonight, they face the champion in a handicap match. And if the champ gets the worst end of it, he's got no one to blame but himself. He asked for it. The following is a two-on-one handicap match in schedule for one ball. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 473 pounds, the team of Finley and William Regal. These two have backed up the number one contender for the past several weeks. Tonight, they face the champion in a handicap match. Here we go. No. 
never know what you'll find under the ring. Man, I don't want this match to end. I'm with you, Parker. I don't think that chair's going to be good for much after this match. Well, it's good for what he's using it for, and that's all that matters. What a counter that was! Oh my god, what a chair shot! Yeah, and that doesn't tickle, believe me. When I first heard about this match, I wasn't sure what to think, but these superstars are blowing me away. Really? As soon as I heard about it, I expected a tremendous matchup. And I haven't, but here it is. He's building up a head of steam, and he's about to let his opponent have it. And if his opponent is smart, he'll get the hell out of there. Oh. Why do they keep so many dangerous weapons under the ring? Those things can cause serious injuries. Man, what a chair shot. Reminds me of my good old days as a hardcore champion. If that's your idea of good old days, I'm glad I wasn't around for them. I certainly don't envy the referee in this match. No kidding. No matter what call you make, you're going to give him a bad sign of at least one superstar. That's a sphere. And that's about the last place you want to be if you're not a superstar yourself. Trust me. I know. I can't think of the last time I saw a superstar with the speed and raw power of this man, Bobby Lashley. Lashley's a powerhouse. No doubt about it, but he lacks experience, and experience is what makes all the difference. He got some pretty good experience when he beat you to the United States Championship, didn't he? That's a little below the belt, isn't it? Let's talk about all of your championship reigns. Okay, we're done. It's so great seeing these superstars in competition here tonight. All right, time to see what we got under the ring. Man, you just can't put anything over on these. He was one step ahead on that one. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, and injured superstars like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. That's absolutely right. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponent fuck it down. Pandering to the crowd. Nothing wrong with keeping the paying customers happy while you're doing some momentum. Come on, quit showing off. He's going for the pin. One, two. Nope. I think these superstars are going to keep it up until they get... Looks like he's decided to grab a weapon from under the ring. Crazy to think that you actually get paid to do a job like this. There's thousands of people out there who would do this for free. Really? Maybe I should look into that. I could get a better broadcast partner and save the company some money at the same time. Keep it up. And you're going to find out exactly how tough it is to do this job with your jaw wide shut. He could get the pin right One, here. Two. Oh. Even if you wind up... And there's the pin! These superstars are at the top of their game, but only one of them is going to have his hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame, because like you said, this has been a great match so far. So what? You want to say that everybody wins so that nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. I'm just saying that in a great match like this, everyone involved deserves. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? Ah, uh, no. Look at that. That's going to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You gotta watch out for your opponent when they're getting fired up like this. Oh, 
And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Count around. In the match, shoulders One. down. This could be it. Three. You got it. expected to see some great things from the other brand during the pay-per-view. Mr. McMahon said, frankly, while they delivered a compelling performance, I was nothing less, more excited and impressed, and my eyes opened by a brand that I had not thought cap 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 capable of such greatness. No, not raw, ECW. Upon learning of Mr. McMahon's opinion, Tommy Dreamer responded, praising his rash boss. When a genius like Mr. McMahon praises you, it means more than you ever think it will. He's a smart guy, really top shelf, you know, a brilliant businessman and wise beyond his years, too. I can't say enough good things about him. Okay, so what are you trying to say, McMahon? I know you worked with my brother Shane last month, and I hope you'll do the same for me this month. My dad still hasn't learned his lesson, and if he's throwing his weight behind ECW, then that's your next target. You're the shell at the end of the pool. Want to know a secret? The reason ECW presses me so much is because guys like you press me so little. You've got so little to offer me. 
no depth at all. Excuse me. I have bets with my son about you in the past, and now I get to show you the true value of a dollar because that's going to be your salary until I'm again. Don't spend it all at once, Ch chump. Vincent Kennedy, man, WWE Chairman of the Board. Well, Vince, what are you going to do about it? Not a whole lot, huh? That's what I thought. Oh, Spokane, Washington, from Friday Night Smackdown. Shelby Grubb vs. Greg Hound, Matt Hardy vs. Mark Henry, Michelle McCool vs. Mickey James, MVP vs. Will Briggle, me vs. Kane. Alright, here we go. Shelby Grubb vs. Gregory Hounds, Matt Hardy vs. Mark Henry, Michelle McCool vs. Mickey James, MVP vs. Will and Riddle, and here we go, me vs. Kane, gonna go at it. Here we go. Survivor Series is coming on and we're less than a month away from Armageddon. This is Michael Cole here with JBL at ringside and we've got a number one contender match for you tonight. That's right. Tonight, the future champion goes one-on-one -on -one with the current champion. You might be counting chickens before they hatch, John. The champ's no pushover. Yeah, well, neither's his opponent. This is going to be a heck of a fight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Brennan Martin here, and this is part number 21 of WWE SmackDown Raw 2008 for the Xbox 360. And I'm still playing as the Destroyer Supernatural for Raw Season Mode. And I'm on SmackDown at the moment, and we are now in the month of November, so here we go. And this is my hometown for Friday Night SmackDown. Got Ringster vs. JBL. Got Gregory Helms versus MVP, Matt Hardy versus Chumbo Guerrero, Kane versus Mark Henry, me versus William Riggle, and Finley. So here we go. Ramos defeating JBL, MVP defeating Gregory Helms, Matt Hardy defeating Chavo Guerrero, Mark Henry defeating Kane. So here we go. Me versus William Riggle and Finley. Here we go, so let's get it. Cyber Sunday is this weekend, and SmackDown's champion will be there. Michael Cole and JBL at ringside, and tonight, the champ sends a message to the allies of the number one contender. I'll give him credit for asking for this handicap match, but he still hasn't gotten the title belt back. And you can only imagine the frustration building in the champion. Fine, he's angry. I get it. The question is, what's he going to do about it? These two have backed up the number one contender for the past several weeks. Tonight, they face the champion in a handicap match. And if the champ gets the worst end of it, he's got no one to blame but himself. He asked for it. The following is a two-on-one handicap match in schedule for one ball. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 473 pounds, the team of Finley and William Regal.
crowd. That's a huge distraction in my opinion. Talk about superstars who don't have enough between them. You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Hey, you got to be in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. Yeah. You'd know that if you actually every step between those rules. I don't have to have been in a match to realize that jeopardizing my future for the sake of one match is incredibly short-sighted. You know, I know it's way more than somebody you actually know what you're talking about. Maybe Carlito. He might be a little tough to understand sometimes, but at least he knows what it's like to wrestle a match. I don't think anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. Of course not. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. And that's something I don't think people realize. The mental conditioning of the WWE superstars is just as impressive as the physical conditioning. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE in this ring tonight. It wouldn't surprise me one bit. This is a great match and the fans are definitely into it. And that's what really matters. If the WWE fan... Man, the crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love it. And he's feeding off that energy Not right now. Jackhammer King. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. After all the jungle and... Oh, he can get the pin right One, here. Two, three. You got it. Seeing a match like this. <laughs> He's leaving the ringside area in a foul mood. Have you ever seen him in anything but a foul mood? I'm not sure I have, and he's got good reason to be upset. He just lost his Armageddon Championship opportunity. Talk about a lose-lose situation for the champ. You need to make it even matter or have to face him at Armageddon for the championship. I guess the victory tonight is what you call the lesser of two evils then. Yeah, emphasis on the word evil. Scene. All right. Well, I'm just gonna let me just fix it up. Here we go. That's better. I've got a special announcement for WWE fans worldwide. Now you know I'm not going to toot my own horn, but thanks to the effusive praise of PCW's representatives, I've decided to get myself and WWE fans an early Christmas present this year myself into the WWE Hall of Fame. Damn, I never thought I'd see ECW join Vince McMahon's special club on live TV. Say the word, Mr. McMahon, and this chump is no more. Yeah, I think you put your head way too far up a certain butt. Go ahead, send your boys. You need the warm-up. Oh... Okay, so... <laughs> and let's go ahead and stop here for this part. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. And if you like Raw Season 1 as of right now, please go give this a thumbs up. And please like this video. Leave a comment. And if you're brand new to the channel, Make sure to subscribe, and also do not forget to tap that notification bell under my name, Brandon Martin, on your YouTube app so you will never miss an upload or a live stream, and I will see you guys in part number 22.